Hey guys, what's up? It's Lainey and today I'm going to be filming my pre-BA book haul. There were just a few more books that I got between the last book haul and BEA, which is next week. I will be attending the conference, which is May 11th through the 13th, and then I'll be at BookCon on the 14th. So if you happen to see me walking around or anything, definitely come up and say hi. I love meeting new people. Might be a little hard to recognize me because I did just get my hair done. Got some blonde in it. I'll have to admit that it's a lot more blonde than I feel like me and Ashley agreed on, but I don't think, you know, I, it took me a while to kind of keep like playing with it. I think I like it. Still a little ginger up here, but it's a hella blonde. First, I want to show you guys some of the pre-orders that I pre-ordered and had to get right away. First one being The Winner's Kiss by Marie Wotowski. I have since read this book, and it was such an emotional roller coaster. I absolutely loved it. It was kind of a perfect ending to a trilogy, I feel like. I've never been more satisfied in a trilogy, I feel like, before in any of the other trilogies I have recently read. I have to say I also love that they stuck with this cover after everybody complained. It just looks so much... I think it just looks way more bold on, this, on the shelf because I looked at those other covers on the shelf and they're really forgettable. They don't at all pop out on the shelf. Another pre-order that I got was Walk the Edge by Katie McGarry. I know this is a YA contemporary romance and I am never really reaching for those. However, the first book of the series I got at BA last year and I inhale read it on the plane and I was so there for it. I loved it. It's kind of a YA Sons of Anarchy. I really really loved it and I knew the second book was coming out so I had to pre-order it. I've also since read this. They're just super fun. She incorporates the motorcycle club very well. I can't decide if I liked this one more than I liked the other one. They're kind of like both on the same field because I can't compare which, I can't decide what couple I love more because I really love both of them for completely different reasons. Also, I want to say that I really do love these two books. However, I know Katie McGarry has like a million books out, so I'm wondering where I should start. I think I kind of want to get another one of her books. So if there's any Katie McGarry fans out there watching, please let me know in the comments where I should start, what one I should read. Give me your opinions. Another pre-order I had to get was Ruined by Amy Tintera. I actually already read this book. I own an art copy of it, but I loved it so much that I wanted the finished copy as well. I've said kind of what this book's about in other videos, but to kind of just like break it down in very short sentences, it's about an underlooked princess from a kingdom that two other kingdoms have completely destroyed. So she's on this like road to revenge to find her kidnapped sister and get back at the kingdoms that have wronged hers, which coincidentally means she has to marry one of the princes under the guise of a different princess she ends up killing in the fifth page of the book. That was kind of longer than a few sentences. I love this book. It is everything I love in a YA fantasy. I definitely recommend this book and if you have read it or if you're planning to read it, let me know that down below because I want to talk about it with people. And the last book I had pre-ordered was The Star Touched Queen by Roshani Chakshi. I hope I said her last name correctly. This is an Indian mythology story with Hades and Persephone undertones to it. And I know Sam from Thoughts on Tomes already read it and she loved it. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. And I also read the first like 10 pages and I was really enjoying what I was reading so far. So I'm excited for that. I also really like how tall this book is. It's a very tall book. Look how tall it is compared to Shadow and Bone. It's just as tall as Six of Crows. The next book I got was sent to me from Harper. And that is an arc of The Outliers by Kimberly McCrate. McCrate? This book has since been released. I think it was released um, Tuesday the 2nd of May. And um, this is a thriller. And I'm very excited to read this because when I was reading the back of it, it kind of reminded me, but it's not in any way, of Nearly Gone and Nearly Found by El Casamato, which I read the first book and really enjoyed. So I'm kind of really excited to get into a YA thriller because I don't read a lot of YA thrillers. And I'd want to get into them again. The next three books were sent to me by Penguin Teen, so thank you Penguin Teen for sending me these books. The first one, first and second one, because they're from the same series, is The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. I've been wanting to read this series for so long, but I just never did. I just never got to that point to read it. And I actually adore 
this paperback cover. Like, I know this was like the in copy of the hardcover version, but damn, mm, this is this is a brilliant cover. I'm hoping to read this series. I don't know if I'll read them back to back, so I rarely do that. Um, after BEA, like I keep wanting to start something, but I don't want to start anything because I'll be leaving in a few days. And the last book I got from Penguin, I'm really, really excited to read, and that is The Passion of the Dulce by Julie Berry. I actually didn't hear too much about it, but when I was reading what it was about, I was super interested. And for one, I love that when I got it, I realized how big it was because so many books are barely hitting that 400 pages these days. This is a historical fiction book that takes place in France in like the 1400s I think? Even farther than that from the 1200s. <laughs> and if I remember correctly it's a historical fiction novel that has some magical elements I think to it. I'm really really excited to read this. This is what I hope also hope to get to after BEA just because it's just impossible for me to read it right now. Those are all the books that I got recently. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What kind of books have you recently got that you're really excited about? Any pre-orders or anything like that? Really love to know. Hope you guys all have a really great day and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! This is my second book in the Conspiracy of Us series. I have a book review for the first book up on my channel which I will link down below. I also put up a video in honor of Fate's release, which was in the beginning of March. I'll link that down below as well, and that was my favorite adventure couples, and because it's inspired by Avery and Stellan, who is the team I'm on. I love